brother Nobu. Say hi Nobu. Hi. Behind every successful team there is a very strong confident captain. You don't get this far in the tournament unless your captain is number one. He, he lifts up the whole team. You know he answers a lot of the questions. Or he's just a prop for the other team members. But right. in this case we've got two very serious captains. Ryan from Bluefield, Jacob from Kamloops. Jacob how do you do it? How do you stay so strong in moments of tension? Um, basically, I just take out all my stress on my team members, so it's a lot of harassment for them. But, but they can handle it, I think. Get they can handle it. They've gotten used to it. Yeah, yeah. Jacob, Jacob you, also, you also pump up your team, you know, when you get the questions right. How do you get so pumped? How do you stay so pumped for every game? I really don't know. I basically just... Okay, like out there, I'm kind of like really tired and sleepy because I didn't sleep enough. And then when I get here, I'm like, oh my god. I guess just like the adrenaline and stuff. The no, adrenaline is okay. They, they, all right. Ryan, how do you do it? Over the counter drugs. Really? Yeah. Oh, right. That's really solid. Now, what about the t shirt? You're always wearing the same t shirt. Is that something in the show, hat? Show us the, the t shirt. Show and, us the t shirt. And the, and the hat? Colorado is for hustlers. You've worn that every single and game. And actually, Don, you've worn the same hat too, you know? It's some sort of thing. So Brandon, what are you wearing uh, that we can't see that perhaps that you've worn every show? My shoes. Ah, oh, his lucky <laughs> shoes. Lucky shoes. Lucky shoes. Okay, okay. This is gonna get this game gets you into the quarterfinals. It's a tough game. No, we'll give him the rules. Okay, we ask the questions and then you answer them. The first round, a right answer is worth 20 points. A wrong answer is worth nothing. Whoever buzzes in answers the question. And remember, there's no discussion with your teammates after you hit the buzzer. No, but we have to go to the tournament tote board before well, we start the game to take do. a look at the progress here. Well, the last game was a serious, serious, hardcore game. 10 points. Last question came in. Notre Dame won the game over Swan Valley. We couldn't believe what happened. So, you know, South Kamloops, Bluefield, one of you is going to play Notre Dame in the quarterfinals. Okay, Nobu, somewhere in the crowd, I've heard there is a celebrity judge. Yeah, I think he's going to be super cool. Oh, my God. Look at the celebrity judge. That's Lee Green. He got his biggest shot. That is a nasty pair of trucker glasses. Yeah, man. Wonderful. Okay, your first category today is royally dead. These are history questions. First question, what British monarch, born in 1819, married her first cousin, Prince Albert? Yes, Donnie. Queen Victoria. That is yeah. right for 20 points. Good on you. In September 1982, Princess Grace died in a car crash. She married into the royal family of what Mediterranean principality? Yes, Jacob? Monaco. Yes, that's correct. It's a tie game. In February 2002, England's Princess Margaret died. How was she related to the Queen? Yes, Brandon. She's her sister. The sister is right for 20 points. In August of 1997, Dodi Al-Fayed and what princess were killed in a Paris car crash? Yes, Jacob. Princess Diana. Yeah, it's a race to the buzzer, and that's the end of the category. Okay, your next 20-point category is a horse. A horse. My kingdom for a horse. Uh, I don't know why I said that. This is literature. In what Shakespeare play does a hunchbacked character murder and manipulate his way to the throne of England? Yes, Jacob? Macbeth? No, that's incorrect. Anybody from Bluefield? Yes, Donnie? Richard III. You got it for 20 points. What blinded King Lear character is tricked by his bastard son, Edmund, into believing his son, Edgar, is evil and unfaithful? Yes, Scott? Hamlet? No, that's incorrect. Uh, Bluefield? It's Gloucester. And the final uh, question in the category. The character Caliban is described by Shakespeare as a savage and deformed slave in what play? Yes, Jacob. The Tempest. The Tempest is correct. And that is the end of Shakespeare. Hey, Sabrina. Hey, Nova. 
Do you spend a lot of time in malls? Uh, yes, I do. I love shopping. Well, you know, you know, you and I we're, we're getting to know each other pretty well, and I, I was thinking about, you know, asking if you wanted to go to the mall sometime. Uh, Are you asking me out on a date? Not exactly. Or do you want me to pay for your stuff? Well, you know what the thing. <laughs> The thing is, is that yesterday I was in a mall, you know, for six hours by myself, and I was walking around. I, I couldn't figure out how to get out of there, and I started to really go to the wash mall. I would drink okay, a lot of water. Okay, hold on. Let me just break I, it down I, for the audience. What? Nobu Mall, walking, water drink. Okay, go ahead. Well, uh, it's just that, you know, when, you're, when you really have to go to the washroom in a mall, it's like you know, all these shops and stuff, and then the, the signs lead you down all these hallways, and then you end up in the middle of nowhere. Okay, middle of nowhere, signs, drink, water, pee-pee. Go ahead. Uh, are you making fun of me? No, 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 I'm just, I, share with me. Because well, it's kind of serious. I was in the middle of the mall, I had to go to the washroom, and I couldn't find it, and I finally found it, and, I, and then I walk in, and there's like 50 people in there. Like, what are they doing? Okay, so I guess the moral of the story is, when you go to the mall, don't drink so much water. Okay, <laughs> I won't. I won't. Thank you, Sabrina. Maybe we can go to the mall later on. Okay, guys, take a look at the monitor. It's a 20-point video question. Check it out. What male insect makes a racket with a pair of resonating organs in the underside of its abdomen? Yes, Donnie? A cricket? No, uh, yes, it's a cicada or a critic. That's 20 points for you, Donnie, and your team, Bluefield. And now, because he puts the ass in asphalt, it's time for Mio's moment! Hey, Mio, what's wrong? Oh, man, I'm bushed. Oh. <laughs> Is there anything I can do to help you? Well, really? You'd like to do something? Well, I don't know. You look, you know. Well, you could stroke my leaves for me if you'd like. All right. Well, it's, yeah. it's just like this? Just like, just like uh, this? Uh, actually, just a little bit lower. He's just stroking Okay, my right, like, like this? Oh, that's really good. Thank you very much. I, I'm, right. I'm ready to ask some questions. Okay, now. okay, man. Okay, okay thanks. Uh, these are general knowledge questions. <laughs> what are Linden, Sumac, and Ash? Donnie. Trees. That's right, for 20 points. <laughs> what are Valencia, Naval, and Hamlin? Yes, Brandon. Oranges. That's right for another 20 points. What are rhesus, macaque, and squirrel? Yes, Brandon. Monkeys. That's right for another 20 points. What are espadrilles, pumps, and brogues? Yes, Brandon. Shoes. That's right, you swap the category. I'm going back to the forest. Thank you, Bushy Bush Bush. Bush. Bluefield's got 160. South Campbell's has 100 left. But things are going to change. Things are going to get mixed up. There's more smart ass. Scott from South Kamloops, uh, you're from BC. I understand you like to ski. What has been your worst wipeout? Well, uh, it was about three years ago or so. We were on this mountain. I, I caught my ski into the into a, a mogul. I flipped over and I just I fell all the way down the hill. <laughs> oh my God! You didn't ski. You fell. Yeah. That's, that's horrible. Uh, okay, we saw your teammate Victor dislocate, dislocate both shoulders, but I hear you've got something even funkier. Um, you do something with your nostrils. Let's see it. He can move his nostrils up and down. Give it up for Scott, everybody. Yeah, I'm hanging out with Donnie from Bluefield. I mean, everybody wants to know what's going on at Bluefield these days. Well, this fall, our field hockey and double-A boys volleyball team won the provincial gold medals. And right now, there's a lot of renovation going on at the school. The science lab is being upgraded, the cafeteria, and the uh, automotive labs, and the music hall. Okay, so, uh, you know, the renovation, uh, there's no cafeteria. What do you do to eat? Uh, well, we just go in classrooms or, so, or something like that, you know. It's kind of difficult, but we manage. Ever thought about, um, you know, getting a hot dog stand and selling hot dogs for a couple bucks? It's a good idea. Very profitable. Okay, but, you know, at least all this work that's going on, you'll be able to enjoy it, right? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> Sorry. Yes or no? No. See, it won't be finished until after we leave, so it's kind of... Oh, have you thought about staying around? Sticking around for an extra year, you know, hanging out? I might just do that. He just might do that. He might just win the game. Come on, give it up for Johnny from Bluefield.
We've had to take 20 points off Bluefield score because cricket was not an allowable question on the video question, an answer to the video question. Bluefield has 140, South Kamloops has 50. This is the 50 point round. They have 60, this is a 50 point round and it is small and smaller. These are science questions and we want you to take a look at the monitor. Ernest Rutherford and what Danish guy seen here are famous for developing diagrams of atoms. Yes, Donnie. Neil Bo Niels Bohr. That is right for 50 points. They got it back quickly. Take a look at the monitor. What element is represented by the diagram seen here? Yes, Scott. Nitrogen. No, it's incorrect. Bluefield. Yes, Donnie. Carbon. Yes, that's right for another 50 points. Okay, I want you to squint your eyes, then open them, then squint your eyes, <laughs> then open them. It's the same picture. Okay, you can see there are four electrons in the outer ring of carbon. What is the maximum number of electrons that can exist in this orbit? Yes, Victor. Eight. That is right for 50 points. That is the end of the category. for Bluefield, your next 50 point category is you're going to poke somebody's eye out. This is geography. What kind of deposits are being mined at Ikati Mine, three, 300 kilometers northeast of Yellowknife? Yes, Donnie. Gold. Uh, no, that's incorrect. Anybody from South Kamloops? Yes, Jacob. Lead. No, it's diamonds. What unit of weight equal to 200 milligrams is used for precious stones? Yes, Brandon. Uh, carrot. That is right for 50 points. Brand is a bit of a secret weapon this game. This is a multiple choice. Kimberlite was deposited when magma flowed through igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic rock intrusions. Yes, Jacob? Metamorphic. Uh, no, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Anybody? Yes, Brandon? Igneous. You got that right! And that is the end of the category! And now I want you to stand up and dance to the rhythm. This is Smart and Smarterer. Okay, teams, you know how this goes. You have five seconds to choose your smartest player. They will play smarter and smarter. The category today is, you talking to me? These are history questions. Choose your player now. Okay, time's up. Send your smarter to the brain pod where Sabrina's waiting. Uh, please make your way there now. As you know, we're gonna put 45 seconds on the clock where you will answer a rapid fire series of questions. A correct answer gets your team 50 points, a wrong one, you're gonna lose 50 points. And if you wanna win big, lose big, win big, and lose again, go to cbc.ca slash smartass. It's you a can party play the, time. It's a party, it's a good time. You can play the game online, you can enter our Smart Asters Club, get the newsletter, and just chat and hang out. Let's hang out with Sabrina now, Smart and Smarter. Wow. Bluefield, I've got Scott from South Cam Loops. And remember, guys, your category is you talking on me? This is history. You can buzz in at any time, but between your questions, your hands must be off the buzzers and on the podium. Are you ready to play smart and smarterer? Let's do it. Sure. Let's do it. Let's do it up. 45 seconds on the clock. Let's do it. What American entertainer is famous for his line? Thank you. Thank you very much. Go ahead. Elvis Presley. Elvis, easy but right. What Canadian Prime Minister felt complimented when poet Irving Layton described him as being worthy of assassina assassination? It's a twisted compliment. It's Pierre Elliott Trudeau. What Looney Tunes ca cartoon character says, th 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 that's all, folks. Porky Pig. Porky Pig is right. In 2002, what leader did Jean Chrétien describe as being, quote, a friend of mine? He's not the moron at all. George W. Bush. George W. Bush is right. What scientific genius said, in Germany I am called a German man of science, and in England I am represented as a Swiss Jew? The smart guy, Albert Einstein. What? Oh, looks like the time is up. Brian. Brian's my good friend. Brian, what school did you go to? Representing Vaughn. He's representing Vaughn. <laughs> All right, I'm representing Smart Ask, and I'm going to give you a Smart Ask t-shirt if I get to know you. What's your favorite subject, man? English media. English media? And uh, so what do you want to do like when you're when you're old and wise? And Not that you're not old and wise now. I want to be in broadcasting. Broadcasting. So is this all cool for you, seeing the, seeing the cameras and all that stuff? It's all good. You know, it's all gravy. It's all good. It's all gravy. That's actually how I describe the show as well. All gravy. So here's some pooch 
2018, I guess. A t-shirt, a smart ass t-shirt. Everyone's dream. And now, speaking of dreams, let's pass it over to Mio and Nobu. All right, thank you, Sabrina. That's crazy. This is all gravy. It's all gravy from here on in. South Kamloops is 160 points. Bluefield's got 440. But you know, as we saw in the last game, everything can change. So this is our 100 point round. And for the gravy, what we call the dirty half dozen. <laughs> Okay, we got six questions. You guys are six players. Each of you gets your own question. If you get it right, you get 100 points. But if you answer wrong, the question will go to your opponent either above or below you. It'll then be worth 50 points for the steal. Teams, good luck. Donnie, with your favorite hat from Bluefield, here's your 100-point question. What Canadian Air Squadron's official motto is Warriors of the Air? The Snowbirds. You've got it for 100 yeah. points. Okay, Victor, the key pace, here's your 100-point question. Scrimshaw is the art of carving intricate designs on the teeth, tusks, and bones of what saltwater mammals? Whales. That is right for 100 points. <laughs> Ryan, with your favorite hat and favorite t-shirt, here you go, 100-point question. Of the 12 animals on the Chinese zodiac, which one doesn't have legs? The snake. You got it right for 100 points. Okay, Jacob, here's your 100-point question. What Australian men's tennis player was the number one seed at Wimbledon 2003, but shocked fans when he didn't make it past the first round? Johnny McDonald. No, that is incorrect. Ryan, for the 50-point steal. Leighton Hewitt. That is right for the 50-point steal. Okay, Brandon, with your lucky shoes, here's your 100-point question, see if they'll help you out in this one. What inner transitional elements on the periodic table are known as rare earth elements? We're running out of time for the steal and 50 points, Scott. The noble gases. No, lanthanoids is the question, uh, the answer we're looking for. Okay, Scott, get your nostrils ready for this question, 100-point question. The longest river in Europe is in Russia. What's it called? The Volga. That is right for 100 points. That's that is the end of the journey. Half dozen. Take it away, Sabrina. Thank you. We've got Bluefield leading with 690 points. A little bit south of them, we have South Kamloops with 360. The lightning rounds up after the break, so get out of your outdoor pool because it's dangerous. Oh, really? This game's getting me really tense. Okay, well, we'll, we'll get you some lotion after the game, <laughs> Thank okay? You. Um, South Kamloops made up some ground in the dirty half dozen. Bluefield has 690. They have a 360. We're into the last round. Remember, this is for the quarterfinals. Anything can happen in the lightning round, though. That's right. Anything can happen. But the way we play it is teams, you can buzz it in at any time. A right answer will get your team 50 points. A wrong one, you're going to lose 50 points. Halfway through, the questions are all going to be worth 100 points. How much time is on the clock? Uh, we've got three minutes and 12 seconds. Okay, that's a long lightning round. Anything can happen. Are you guys ready? I'm okay, ready. start the... I was asking them if they were ready. Okay. Okay, ready. start the clock now. What heavy metal band's latest CD is entitled Saint Anger? Ryan. Metallica. That is right for 50 points. What do you call an elevated flat expanse of land? Yes, Jacob? A plateau. Yes, that's correct. What U.S. president pardoned all Vietnam-era draft dodgers in 1977? Jacob. Jimmy Carter. That is right for another 50 points. You're catching up. Jonas Salk developed the first effective... Yes? Polio. Jonas. Yes, polio is right. Good one. What Canadian Prime Minister legalized homosexuality in 1969? Yes, Jacob. Uh, Pierre Trudeau. Yes, that's right for 50 points. What is the largest glandular organ in the human body? It's the liver. What radio waves have the shortest wavelength and the highest frequency? That's microwaves. In NHL hockey, how many goals do you need to score a hat trick? Yes, Scott. Three. Three is the magic number. What nationality was the Renaissance painter Caravaggio? Yes, Scott. Italian. Italian is right, and you're within 180. What religion worships Vishnu, a god used? Yes, Ryan. Uh, uh, Hindu. Yes, Hindu is right. What satirist wrote Gulliver's Travels and a modest? Yes, Jacob. Swift. Yes, Jonathan Swift is right. Oh my God. What Kevin Costner movie is an adaptation of the W.P. Kinsella novel Shoeless Joe? 
Yes, right. Field of Dreams. Field of Dreams, you got it. In music, what term tells you to slide from one note to another? Yes, Scott. Gliss. Uh, that's incorrect, it's glissando. Okay, all questions are now with 100 points. What powdery substance would you find on an anther? Pollen, that's the anther. On, that's a good anther. <laughs> on what continent is Burundi? Jacob. Africa. That is right. For 100, 100 points. points. In 1990, what accord did Manitoba and Newfoundland refuse to ratify? Yes. Meech Lake. You got it for another 100. Okay, we got an 80 point game. What continent lies directly above the Drake Passage? South America. What Italian composer wrote the opera Tosca in the year 1900? Puccini. What Middle Eastern country's internet suffix is .iq? Ryan. Iraq. That is right for 100 points. What do you fear if you suffer from hydrophobia? Yes, right. Uh, Scott. Water. Yes, water's right. In October 2003, a Michigan man survived an unprotected plunge over what Canadian waterfall, Ryan? The Niagara Falls. That is right for 100 points. Canadian actor Alicia Cuthbert stars in what TV drama with Kiefer Sutherland? 24. 24 is right. You're pulling away. What kind of animal is a stickleback? Yes, Brandon. A tortoise. No, it's a fish. What kid's book author wrote the book Horton Hears a Who? Yes, Scott? Robert Munch. No, it's Dr. Seuss. What party swept the 1968 Canadian election with a 155 seat victory? Liberals. Okay, Sorry, what, too country, late. what country is home to the cities of Cordoba, Valencia, and Barcelona? Yes, Jacob? Spain. Spain's right! In the CFL, what is a single point scored off a failed field goal attempt called? A rouge. A rouge is right. You're within 80 points. What's, what symbol is bromine on the periodic table? Yes, PR. PR is right. Yeah. What Canadian author wrote the novel Never Cry Wolf? 